Today we will take a look at a few steps of how to set up and use the call tracker application. After reviewing the wizard, you can read the terms and conditions and privacy policy. You need to provide all the permissions for the application to work properly and enable notifications, plus the permission to appear on top of other windows. To start working with the application, you need to set the connection to your CRM. To do this, see the list of supported CRMs, select the system you need and enter your account credentials. For some CRM systems, you only need a login and password to connect. For others, such as Bitrix24, you need a webhook URL. You can see the instruction of how to get it inside the app. For CRMs like Sugar and Fresh Sales, you need to enter a simple URL. You need to copy a part of the address bar of your CRM from the web. Some CRM systems, such as Close and Insightly, use the API key for connection. All instructions for obtaining the key you can see inside the application. And for some CRMs, for example Pipedrive and HubSpot, or AUF 2.0 protocol is used for authorization. After authorization, the login status must be online. The next step, we need to activate a subscription. A free 7-day trial is available for all new users. Then, payment will be charged according to the specified tariffs. For example, $3.99 per one month of use and $34.99 per year. You can unsubscribe at any time. If you or someone on your team has a corporate key, you can activate it in the corporate tab. After activation, you will see the date while this key is valid. In configurations, we can also see the storage of voice note settings. If you want notes to be saved in your smartphone, select a memory card or internal storage. Or you can store them in the cloud, so you need to connect to your Google Drive. After these settings, we can click on test connection to make sure we have set everything up correctly and are ready to use the call tracker to the fullest. Here in configuration, we can also see the rules section. After each call, the application will ask you to save the call log into the CRM system or not. So, we can set up rules for all calls. You can customize the rules for specific numbers. For example, never save a certain number in the CRM if calls from it are always personal. By opening the call logs section, you can see the call history of your phone. Select the necessary call log. You will see the contact's name if the corresponding number is already stored in your CRM database. If not, you can find the needed contact or create a new one as contact or lead. Here you can add a note or record a voice note if needed. Depending on the selected CRM system, you can add future activities to the saved contact, task, call or event. By clicking Create, your call log with all notes and actions will be saved into the CRM system. 
If you have suggestions for improving the application, you are facing some problems with the app, you have questions about authorization or any other questions, please send us a support request via email where you can describe everything in detail. We will respond to you as soon as possible. In the About tab, you can learn more about the application and the developer's company and also rate us on the play market. Every feedback is important to us and helps to improve. Thank you for watching the video. Enjoy Cold Tracker Multi CRM.